Fight for the rights of every man I am a real American Fight for what's right Fight for your life Two. Feel it. Feel it. That's right, everybody. It's Tony the Kid, and this is I'm the Johnston. That's right, and we are rejects of freaking attitude up in this mug. Now, this special video that we're gonna do today is about our wish lit. No, 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 no you're messing this up. No, I'm messing it all up again. All right. Don't worry. I'll, I'm here to save them. Save me. We're talking about it's uh we're coming into Fourth of July. That's right. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Fourth of July. So this video is about us celebrating. The half year review of all the movies that came out between January all the way till June. June. That's right. So we still got, that means another six months worth of freaking good movies. We got a whole major list going down with you guys. We're going to go down that list pretty quick just to give you special dates. Movies that we, we expect for you guys to look out for. Where I would say please go hit the theaters on those dates. And enjoy yourselves. Yeah, All right. pretty much. Exactly. So follow through. See what we gotta say about it. Now, just the uh, <laughs> what were your five movies this from oh, yeah. January Thinking to about June? That. So what we're gonna do? Oh, we're yes. gonna count down our top five so far. That's right. Movies that we actually seen. I don't want to say movies like I won't say. Hey, I saw. You know, my top five is. You know, this movie, that movie. If I haven't right. seen it yet, it doesn't count. Exactly. And if we didn't see it in the movie theaters, that doesn't count. If we yeah. saw it in DVDs and stuff like that, we could just make special comments. But other than that, this is what we saw in theaters, what we really liked, yeah. as far as anything that we saw within this past six months. Right? right. Yeah, I like that. There we go. So, Jasta, hit right. it off, man. What was number, number five? five for me. Number five, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Nice. I love that movie. You enjoyed it? I haven't seen it yet. I still haven't seen it. I know I've been bad. I should have been. I should have saw it, but I didn't get a chance to see that bad boy. It's okay. We'll probably do a DVD review of it. <laughs> that, there you go. Cool. Blue Ray. There Blue you Ray go. review. Not we'll bad. We'll watch it. I'll Blue Ray review. Do that. It's worth a watch. Yeah. I would say it's not as good as the first movie. Uh, first movie, I believe, had more fun, um, more family. Um, how do you say it? It was just more humor? fun, more excitement, more humor. That's one family humor. More. Yeah. Okay, I heard about that. I heard this one was more like it wasn't bad per se, but I think they like, over rushed so many jokes into it. The comedy thing. Yeah. I heard that too. I heard that they pushed the comedy into it because obviously the first one was so comedic, and this one they just kind of forced forced it out a little bit too and much. That's the problem with studios is when they think, and I'll say I'll say it like this: um, you watch Hangover, right? Yeah. You watch part one and two. Right. And everything's, you know, everything's natural. simple. Everything's natural. Yep. It's the same four guys that are just following them throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Same three guys. Part three, they focus too much on that one guy. True that. True and it that. ruined the whole film for me. Okay. And it's kind of like here, you know, uh, Baby Good, it's good to see him in the whole film. Right. He's actually, he, him and, I uh, forgot the name of the other guy. Right. But who? Yandu, I think it is. Yandu. Y'all do, they actually steal the show and Raccoon does too. Cool. Okay. But you get too many jokes when you really don't need them. Yeah. That's feel you. I feel you. All right. All right so not bad. That's fine for that's me. That's fine for you. That's All right. Number five. five for myself. I would say this year, Logan. Yep. Logan was my number five. Oh, you can't go wrong with Logan. No. Good movie. I'm pretty sure he's on your list. We'll he figure is, out what number he is. We'll figure out when. Yeah. But for me, Logan was a good movie. It was the the, you know, the... The top of the food chain as far as Hugh Jackman being the best Marvel Marvel or even comic book character thus far well, we see. Because seen. he's been doing it for such a long time. For real. Big he's time. So many different films. It's kind of like uh, Sean Connery and Hills Bond or Roger yeah, Moore yeah. and Hills Bond. Logan's and, been the same guy over and over. Exactly. This was his last hurrah. Possibly heard some rumors going around that you know he could come back with Avengers crossover. We don't know. But if it does happen, Marple. if it does happen, he needs to have a suit. I'm sorry. Needs to have a suit. I'm putting a petition in. Needs to have a suit. But other than that, Logan was a good movie. I liked it. Maybe I cried a little bit at the end. A lot of people cried. So happy that we got to see X-23 into it oh, yeah. and everything involved. And 24. And 24. That's true. Surprise guess. 24 came out. But other than that, very dope. 
Loved it. Yeah. I would definitely watch it. Definitely would own it myself. I would too. Once it comes out on DVD, I'm planning on buying a collection of uh, those movies. movies. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. All right, moving on. Number four for me. <laughs> Lego Batman. Ah, another movie I didn't see in movie theaters. You see, I'm starting to hate on that. No, I'm starting to question my co-host. Nah, I, I, what? I can't help it, man. I saw, no, the days okay. they come all right, man. No, I won't blame you. Sometimes you really can't make the movie theater. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, sometimes where pay-per-view shows, I had to work and I can't make the wrestling show yeah. to watch it. Exactly. So, but, um, um, but it was good. That's why we're here. Yeah. As your uh, critics, as kind of like your average movie guys. You average come to us say, hey, what do you think of the movie? You know what? Go watch it. Yeah. Lego Batman was actually just as good as a Lego movie. Just as good as Lego movie. Funny. Yeah. I, I love it. Really it was really funny. Um, I love the fact that it mentioned all the other Batmans in the past. I heard about that too. Yeah. So it's actually, it's worth the watch. Mm. Too much humor. Action is fun. Uh, Joker, and I never expected a Joker like this. So, okay. yeah. All right. Sounds good. Not bad. All right. I definitely got to see it in DVD. <laughs> you heard my review. Yes. Now, my number, number four, four. My number four, Fast 8. Now, here's where the tables turn. turn right? And I haven't watched it. <laughs> I, I gave see? up on Fast after part six. I just got tired of seeing Vin Diesel as a good guy. Over and always overcome. I don't know. Well, this one, see, this one's a whole but, spin. He's the bad I guy. I knew he would, like, turn good at the end. Though. Yeah, he's the bad guy, of course. There has to be a big reason why he turns bad. But other than that, I mean, regardless, at the end of the day, the storyline was different. It's a different Fast and Furious. And that, this is why I like Fast and Furious, and I can say what Ben Diesel's done a great job with this series, is that, yes, it's about car racing. Yes, it's about action. Yes, it's about him being a good guy, him being the it guy. But how you do it in the storyline kind of changes it up. And it's always a different scenario per movie. So to be honest, yeah. each movie, I mean, yes, each movie connects. But each movie is its own, on its own. And it's really it's really cool how they did this one. I was skeptical on how well they would do without Paul Walker. And it really would make sense to keep doing the Fast and the Furious without him. Involving him into the movie somewhat. Like say his name or... Maybe a picture or have his brothers do like a, just a quick CGI cameo thing. But other than that, it's done great. It's done great. Fantastic. There you go. Great job. I definitely watch it again too. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably DVD it yeah. once it comes on DVD. I'll have to do seven <laughs> and eight yes. to catch up. Yes, definitely. All right. So my number three now, and uh, my number three is actually a movie I loved when I was a cartoon fan gotcha. of it. When it was a cartoon, I loved it. I mean. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty. Hey! What's up? That's my number three. Beauty and the Beast, bro. That's our number three. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See? You see? Hey, I mean, it was a freaking so, great movie. Great minds think alike. Yeah, it was a good movie. You know, what I like about it is that the movie itself, um, you think of it, the movie itself kind of reflects on the cartoon. It, like, yeah. mimics the cartoon in every form it can. Every every scene set was mirror image to the cartoon. Yeah, definitely. I love I the castle. That. The way the castle looked, castle dark looked, and light. Exactly. In fact, castle was pretty dope. I love how they had the aspect of it coming alive itself. Yes. The branches coming out or some sort of like that. I wonder if they could do it at a Disney park. That would be pretty cool. I would love to see that castle at a Disney park. Hey, I know they have it. Disney think, has their hands on it. I think that's the name of a. Uh, of a restaurant they have, so that might be the castle. I gotta check it out online. Might be, might be. Uh, so, I mean, it was a great movie. A great movie, great cast. I loved, I love how they added bits and pieces of making sense on the bee side of things. Yeah. Like where he came from, how he became the bees, what his relationship was to his parents and stuff like that. Like, what was the big issue with all that flower? And it, perfect for me. I liked it. And even uh, the queen herself. Mm -hmm. the, not the queen, the evil witch. The yeah. way she was actually, you know... And she was involved in the movie. Yeah. Like You actually saw her in it, even towards so the end and everything. Film. So I, I liked it. I love that. That was it's a like good aspect. She was actually there every, every part of it. And you're yeah. actually you're following her. And in the end, you realize, oh, that's who she is. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to kind of touch a little bit on this one. Since we're talking... This is our number three, Okay. And it is a review. It's our half-year listing. Now, 
what made it such a big controversial thing was the whole you can say gayness into 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 the movie. Oh, okay. If you look at the fact that the character is not really doesn't prove to be much gay. Right. I think what he is in the film is that he's just a straight up admirer, just like in the cartoon. Exactly. Right? Yes. I would say the exact same thing. They didn't they didn't do anything where it was like as if um you know, hey, kissing or stuff like there's some major big thing like that. I think he does kiss, but I think it was like a pet kind of like, whoa, what are you doing, man? Like type of yeah. thing like that. But I think it was more like, is it wasn't it was a, yeah, like you said, admire. Like he admired Gaston so much. I love the fact that he sang that song though. Yeah, exactly. They like, changed he, the words to it though. They did. Bit. They changed a little bit yeah. of it, and I'm I'm glad that they did the whole. They didn't get the lift of girls or whatever, no, or something like that. I was like Gaston he was did. About, he's not as built as he should be to well, do that. It would have been difficult how they would have done it. I think yeah. so. It would make sense. But I mean, it, it made sense how he didn't. He was just he wanted to be him. He wanted to be every bit of a man Gaston was. Because so it's like it sounds like your perfect specimen if you had to say something. He had especially it especially at that time frame yeah. of uh, the century, you would say. The yeah, times the pretty time much. Up. the so, way he was built and everything in those days. Yeah. So I don't get why the media made it a big issue. It wasn't really so much of a big thing. It was I think because plenty of humor. To tell you the truth, they always try to find a way to make people not go watch a film that's that good. Yeah. I can see and that. It always comes kinda of like uh Wonder Woman. Yeah. They big tried issues the, that yeah. Big issues with the I think she's a Israelite woman and yep. um they had a problem with her doing the movie and I'm just like, you know, instead of having a problem small problems and just picking that and saying, I'm not gonna watch it because of that Yeah. Ignore it. Go watch it but just watch it. You no, know, give it a chance. Yeah, give, give it a move. shot. Give it a clean slate. Let it be. It's a movie. Be fan favorites like us. We're just fans, man. We yeah. just enjoy the material. If it's a good movie, we like it. If it's if it's not a good movie, we don't like it. That's it. That's you know? what I'm saying. So, yeah, I totally so, agree. Well, there we go. All right. Number two. Number two. It's on you, man. My number two is his number five, <laughs> Logan. Yeah, number two. You're number two. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I respect that. I respect that. The reason why is because I... When I was a kid, uh, first character I fell in love with out of the uh, Marvel Universe. Yeah. Other than Spider-Man was Wolverine because of the X-Men cartoons. Yeah. Sure. And, um, and it's funny because the first comic book I picked up was the X-Men comic book. Gotcha. So, uh, this movie meant a lot more to me because I always grew up being more of a Wolverine fan. See, I didn't. I, that's the thing. I think Wolverine... Rubbed on, rubbed on me a little bit when uh, he was, what cartoon I would say. I think it was the... Evolution? Uh, or a movie? That's where he started. I think, yeah. In the Evolution, he started to rub on me a little bit where I, I, like, the character I liked. For the most part, in the beginning, I my fan favorite was, I always will be actually, to be honest, is Colossus. Colossus is my oh. fan favorite. It's Colossus, Beast, Speaking about that, Nightwing. I just thought about something. When I played the X-Men games, I never chose Wolverine because my brother was a bigger Wolverine fan than I was. Yeah. I would choose Colossus. See? The in Col that arcade game in the old days. Yeah. That was like, I think that's why it was, for me was that. That's why Wolverine that's kind of wrote another thing I gotta cut you off on. I used to like those old arcade video games where you just walked out and beat up people. Yep. And, you know, every level you had to beat on some Somebody bigger beat. villain. And yes. that's it. I'm like, they should go back to that because your guys were at a good height for it. Yeah. Big time. And you could do it with, if uh, NBA games could do it. Why can't Marvel do it with like, their right. games? Exactly. Because I but, think that's one aspect into it where they need to feed more yeah. into it. Besides movies, give us games. Give us video games like the Marvel yeah. Alliance and that's all that kind bad. of stuff. That's like that's what we really enjoyed ourselves for comic book fans. Now, here's an idea I'm going to give you guys. Uh, Anthony mentioned it a while ago. Tony, sorry. Dad. Yeah. 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 Hey, ago. man. Sorry. I'm sorry. You uh, got to bleep that out. Yeah, we'll bleep it. You know, <laughs> when I said his name, it'll be like... Beep, beep, beep. So, uh, he mentioned that it'll be cool to have Wolverine show up in Marvel. I'm thinking, why not have a movie where Wolverine and Captain America reminisce about World War Two? Yeah. When they were part of it together. They could. They did a mission together, and it was actually part of the time sure. they were around. Sure. I would so I would that. say go with that. You know, if, yeah, if you don't want to do the whole Marvel Universe, Wolverine inside of it, all that kind of stuff like that, 
That's a perfect fit. That's yeah. perfect. Have Captain America, Wolverine, a simple at a right bar, there. just smoking cigars, whatever, talking okay. about the old fashioned. That's yeah. it. They don't have to do much. And then you could probably add more movies like Wolverine versus the Hulk. Yeah, and they can even crack jokes like, you know, how come I haven't seen you around when we're facing so and so? Like, well, we were busy with so and so. So it's yeah. like, they can go back and forth with that, kind of like Unless bringing old movies. You can play off the fact that there's different universes. How would you do that? Well, okay, we could base off uh, this Marvel universe is a different Earth compared to the Wolverine from that Earth. How would you do that? I'm trying to figure out myself. You see what I mean? The only way you would be able to do that if it was there a Flash going from universe to universe, and of course and, you're a different Earth, yeah. I'm a different Earth. So with Marvel, there's nobody that can do that without, I think it's Kitty Pride that makes it go back in time type of thing. Yeah. But I think that's where that's where it gets confusing. That would probably be hard that's difficult. That's true. I get you. So I mean, it would be cool if they were to do it and time it wise, where Wolverine is done. I think it's what after. How would you put it? Where would you put it? I think timeline wise, it's after so it has Phoenix. To be right after yeah, Phoenix. After Phoenix, and then after uh, well, see, I, that's the thing. You can go different ways. I, it's a very complicated thing, but we we'll fix something out. Yeah, I think something like that. We'll talk about it some other time when we have a new wish list coming out. There you go. There you go. So you you just have to wait for it. Yes. All right. So what's your number two? My number two, Wonder Woman. Yes. Yes, it is, guys. I do no. apologize. It's weird because then that means what's my number one? Yeah. So. And what can he like more than <laughs> Wonder Woman? Exactly. Wonder Woman, you guys, have is the best DCU universe movie. Thus DC, far. DCEU movie whatsoever that's been out thus far. Thus and far. we're not counting uh, against not, Dark Knight. We're not no. counting those. We're talking about those the are separate. current... Yes. Era of movies. Exactly. Started with Man of Steel. All the way to now. Ba- Batman vs. Superman. Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad. And this one. This one. So far, thus far, the best one, I'd say. And I to agree. be honest, what way to add a female-led superhero type and, of movie? a uh, female director. Exactly. And I a like female that. director. Like, man, those guys hit it out the park. Gail Godot did a fantastic job. I'm sorry. She deserved an award. For this film, I think the comic book awards need to come in this place right that's now. That's what I'm. That's one thing I'm hoping that the Academy Awards uh, start doing now is they start bringing out uh, superhero movies because we've been knocking out of the park. They definitely, yeah, exactly, A big lot. time. Hugh You've been Jackman. making more money than all these other movies that come out on your exactly. And it's not easy to portray these characters. No, it's and not. And Academy Awards are like, oh, it's not easy to cry, and I'm like, well. Most of these characters have cried in movies. Exactly. Logan deserves an award for his portrayal. Exactly. Professor X. Professor X in that movie. Special... Wonder Woman. Best supporting actor. That's where he needs. Best like, director. Best director. Uh, Wonder Woman. Pat, Patty Jenkins. Yep. So, so it's like, come on. They need recognition. That's what they deserve for this film. So that's why it's my number two. But yes, my number one. Yeah, we'll and now here we go. We're about to talk to number one now. Yep. My number one... Is Wonder Woman. Yeah, see? There and you go. the reason why, here's the best part of it, is you don't really have to have the same favorite film. Yeah. You can like one thing, I can like another. Exactly. Your list could be different from mine, and right. it just shows that we have different thoughts sometimes. That's different, right. We're different people. That's right. The um, reason why I love Wonder Woman is I've been waiting so long. Uh, yeah. Since I was, like, after I watched Superman 1, 2, 3, 4... I watched Batman 1 and 2 and then the other two disappointing ones. I realized I want a Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. But I understand why it took so long. It's not easy to cast no. Wonder Woman. No. I'm glad they waited because there are a lot of rumors of yeah. Megan Fox. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Uh, like, there was just... The list went on as far as who they wanted in the actress. Even who that one wanted. UFC girl. Not, uh... Not... Not Ronda, but... Not Rousey, but the other one. Gina Carano? Yeah. Her? Yeah. They had her also in yes. mind. So, so when we finally got got, got the... Even the at dog. that, she had, even she had a little issue. A lot of people had an issue with her. Like myself, I thought she was too skinny and everything like that. But if she were to bulk up just a tad bit... funny. Fine. Everyone's going to deny that I'm going to say this, but it's true. I was watching her in the first Fast and the Furious movie that she appeared in. 
But at her appearance, when I saw her, I thought, that girl's so beautiful, she should play Wonder Woman. I, but that's what I mean. Her face is fine. Like, she I was pretty what I told her to, role. and their answer was, she's too skinny for the role. And I'm like, it probably doesn't me. matter. I was like, <laughs> probably she me. fills up. I think they were talking about <laughs> I think so. Time. I think it came from me, because I was like, she gets muscle, then okay, yeah. Yeah, and I, that was my argument with them. I was like, <laughs> if she gets built, you know, if she gets muscle, she yes. could play Wonder Woman. Definitely. And he was like, okay, we'll see. And... Here we are. We're seeing it. That's right. Not a bad, not a bad choice. So great job, Gil Godot. Good job. And we can't wait for part two, Patty. Hey, yeah, I know yeah. you're gonna knock it out of the park again. Yeah. Well, let's get. But what's her name? My cheetah. life. Oh, Holly Berry as oh, Cheetah. That's right. I, there's a picture that came out with the whole universe thing that came somewhat, and she's a character that that's in that picture. So oh, I she think has to be. I think with all that, that's who they're planning on bringing out to the universe. Oh, like Blue Beetle, have, her. Uh, if you I'll have a big fan base of Wonder Woman now, you want to bring yeah. out what Wonder Woman is. Yes. And I like the fact that they're going to do exactly what they did with uh, Batman. Yeah. First movie, like a teacher type person, yeah. you know, easy villain to be. Not yeah. easy. Ray Shaw Ghoul or Raz Ghoul, whatever you want to call him, is no, no easy villain. He's not yeah, a walk no. in the park. No. But compared to who part two was. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mess with part two that no, much. No, not at all. And in this one, if they do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be hard to top it. I think so. It would be awesome. But my advice to you, Patty, don't overdo it. No don't matter it. what DC tells you, no exactly. matter what the suits tell you. Stick your ground, put your foot down, however you want to do it like you did the first one. Leave it like that. Don't change up your game plan. Don't add, you know, if you want to add something in there, but do it yeah. because you have faith in it. That's what I'm saying. So. All right. So now, what could be your number one? Hmm. Hmm. My number one. Do I have a watch? Let's, 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 yeah, let's, is there a ringtone? Is there, is there a sound coming? Is that, yeah, yeah. you get some? Yeah. And that's right, people. It's the Power Up Rangers. <laughs> that's right. My number one, Power Rangers, guys. Yes, Power Rangers. Why did Tony pick Power Rangers of all freaking movies to be my number one? Well, guys, yeah, let, me you think it. It. let me explain okay. to you guys. I want to hear this. No. I want to hear this because... We went from five all the way to one, <laughs> and it's not even on my list. It's not even on your list. Yeah. Now, Power Rangers have always been my all-time favorite, t- uh, you would say, live action TV show. I think a lot of people in the, in the 90s loved yes. the Power Rangers. I loved it because I think at that time, it gave you a, like a good close view on how high school life would be like yeah. with the kids. You had your jock, your prep, your, you know, your goofball, black guy, sorry, <laughs> your nerd, your freaking Asian guy who was smart in all kinds Why of ways. Actually, was white. Oh, who? Uh, the Blue Ranger. Yeah, the Asian girl. So it's about the oh, Asian girl. Oh, the Yellow Ranger. The Yellow Ranger. Yeah, about her. I'm sorry. So you had that guy. Then you had your newcomer who was the outsider, which would be, obviously we knew was Tommy. Now, I wasn't a Tommy fan in the beginning. And I was. Yes. Yeah. I was more of a Billy fan, of course, because I had blue glasses that looked just like Billy's. So I think that's why I really kind of connected with Billy, even though it wasn't that smart. And I was more of a Jason fan at the beginning. Yes. And so Tommy came in, and I was like, you know what? I like Tommy. Yeah, he, Tommy kind of like ru- like kind of grew on me little by little. Once they were fighting, the episodes that they had against Tommy were freaking epic. More like this TV show itself, they had some realness to it and some seriousness into it. Were intrigued you every single and I week. Think if you look at the current Power Ranger series compared yeah. to back then, it's nowhere near close. No, not even the. Sorry. I mean, back then um, the storylines were so uh, kind of like the, how the movie is. Yeah. They were so deep. Yes, they touched on real events, bullying yeah. this, uh, like how and dating and stuff like that, like real issues that kids would go through in high school. And I think that's the problem with today is that they're trying so much not to do that again. Yeah. And I'm like, you should keep doing it because that's what, you know, that's what made us sit down and watch. It's that, especially nowadays, how things are bullying and stuff like that, how kids may yeah. be, and all kinds of other personal issues that kids have been dealing with in high school. That's something they do need to touch on just a little bit within these type of TV series. And it was good. And what you the, think of the film? So you live up to it. So. To, my, to me, it did way better than the first Power Rangers movie. It definitely had it had an issue, like any other movie. It, the one issue was, of course, Goldar. 
That's the only issue. That's, that's actually the, my issue with the movie. That's the only thing. I wish Gora would have just been a henchman. Yes, I and do probably too. Probably she could build him up into a henchman now. They could have. They could have. For like a sequel. Exactly. And then leave it at that. And then even that, the other thing would be the Zords. Mm-hmm. How they connected into the Megazord, I think, was the big issue. You didn't have a sword. You, you had them in body parts, but which is cool. But the other thing is, too, they weren't together. One and they were in separate compartments to where, like, let's say, yeah. for instance, I knock off the leg, that person's missing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, I kind of liked it because they're all in their own compartment and right. they all had to work as a unit now. Yeah, but it's kind of like in the in the TV show, you used to actually have them all in one, and exactly. it's like, all right, the blues work in the leg, the pink's work in this leg, you right. know. In the movie, you get the same thing. Uh, this guy had to, you Long. know, find the punch. Exactly. I remember in it, when he went for the punch, the whole body went to the floor. Yeah, exactly. So, it's actually something that happens if you don't coordinate good. Which is makes sense, which is which is good. But, again, like, if you get knocked off, one person's gone out of the whole thing. That was the one thing, instead but of them being together still. I think, and I, you know, it's always room to correct. Exactly, which because, is good. Yeah. I think what they're here, they're talking about is updating their Megazords, so... And even the Super whatever, Sentai, man. I think, here's my problem with the movie, is that I was hoping for it to be more realistic to the point where if a Power Ranger was fighting a stronger villain, yeah, and he got punched, um, the suit would start cracking a little bit. I see that. But I see um, that happening, I see that happening now, because yeah. you saw that in the beginning. Yeah. You saw that in the beginning where... Oh, this is a little spoiler, guys. If you haven't seen the movie, but this is a spoiler. You saw that in the beginning when you had freaking uh, Rita, like, breaking up or... Uh, my gosh. Killing the big the battle. Power Kill, Rangers. Killing other Power Rangers and they're all beat up and stuff like that. Yeah. That makes sense. I think it's going to get to that point in the second film when they're going to have... I think Rita was very dark in this one. Oh, I think Rita was the best. And yeah. all the things surprised me the most. I think she... Oh, what's her face? Did a fantastic job. Elizabeth, uh... I forgot her name. Forgot her name. Elizabeth, first name. Yes. She did a fantastic job being Rita because you didn't hear Rita or Pulsa throughout the movies. You heard Rita. She's yeah. old green Power Ranger. But the things that she did was repulsing. It was, like, disgusting, nasty, like... That's why she's called Rita Repulsa. So that's what I loved about it. I love the fact that she was original Green Ranger. And we would have had to probably, you know, I'm thinking of doing since we were a new channel. I'm thinking we're gonna have to review it DVD style, Blu-ray review. I will go with that. Yeah, that we'll have cool to do that. it. Then I'm we can talk that. about it more. It was and good. Give it a better review. But yeah, yeah sequel. I yes. want Sony in it. Definitely. Well, I mean, and they teased it. Don't kill us any other villain. If you if you bring that, bring that at the end. Make this a whole Tommy film. Uh, As a full villain the whole time? Well, you're going to have... I think you're going to have Lord Zed getting Tommy to be the Green Ranger. Yeah. Instead of Reza... I think Rita would be missing. Or what if Tommy leaves the fake Rangers? Remember how they used to fight against fake Power Rangers? Oh, that's right. That's right. And once Tommy starts turning good... Yes. That's when you get a new, like... Green Ranger against the White Ranger because she takes his power away. That would be pretty cool. That would be That's pretty cool. That's what I'm cool. saying. Dude. They could be so much into this one. Yeah. I think what they did so far, I liked. I That was my the most anticipated movie. I loved it. I and, did too. I, I, I can't complain. It would have been on my top ten, but this is top five. Yeah. So It, was, uh, it did way better than Ninja yeah. Turtles. That's all I can say. Not part two, but part one. Part two was way better. Oh yeah, love it. Part one sucks that they canceled it because I was getting so into it. I was yeah. hoping we're so close to Baxter Stockman becoming the Fly. That's or right. Whatever his name is. That's right. You're right. Okay. All right, guys. So yes, that was our top five movies, pretty much the beginning of the year. Yeah. Each of us did a part part five. That's uh, right. From January all the way to now. That's so right. June, right? This is a basic exactly. This is going to be actually a ba- uh, three part series. Okay, I don't know if we mentioned that before. This is a three-part series. This video is part one, our top five for the beginning of the year. Part two would be honorable mentions. And part three would be bringing everything to a whole big hit, basically. A whole trilogy of it, all right? Is our next up, top 15 upcoming movies for the rest of the year, all the way to the end of December. December, yeah. Yes, so that's going to be part three. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys for watching. Please remember, like, subscribe, and share. That's right. So, this is Tony the Kid. 
I am the Johnstar. That's right. You guys have a good night. Peace out. Go ahead. Love. Peace. Take it easy, Reject. All right, y'all. Uh... <laughs>